UEFA Women's Champions League is into the semifinals. Emma Hayes, Chelsea were taking on Barcelona in the first leg of the semi-Saturday in Spain. Uh, Chelsea ended up winning the match. Aaron Cuthbert with the lone goal in a 1-0 win ahead of a second leg next Saturday in London. But the story of this game is not necessarily Chelsea winning 1-0. No, it's instead the very physical approach employed by Emma Hayes team. Aitana Bonmati of Barcelona is taking exception to that. Quote, I am not in favor of playing with these interruptions, but we knew it. We had talked about Chelsea playing like this, which for me is playing dirty. We have warned the referee, but it is not up to us if they allow it. Emma Hayes, the next manager of the U.S., is having her teams be accused of dirty play, Herc. Something, nothing, or everything. Okay, let's just clear it up. It's not actually dirty play, mm -hmm. right? It's disrupting the rhythm of a team like Barcelona, who is so dominant, mm -hmm. is making sure they can't be fluid in their play. Fluid in the midfield, fluid in the, in the final third, making sure some way, shape, or form you disrupt that. So you think Bon Mati missed it there? Well, no. I, I, think, I think we don't want to confuse people. She didn't miss it. I mean, you're doing what you need to do to disrupt that rhythm, whether that is being a little bit more physical than you normally would or slowing down the play any way you can, you do it. And I don't have a problem with this. And, and if anything, I think this is a positive for the U.S. women's national mm -hmm. team, if you will. I, I look at a team like Spain, and if Spain were to play against the U.S. women's national team today, they're, the U.S. women's national team isn't going to beat Spain toe-to-toe. -to -toe, pinging play, it around them. Pinging it around yeah, them. No way. Tiki -taka. That's not how you're going to beat the best teams in the world, and you have to realize this narrative of the rest of the world is caught up is not only true, but the rest of the world also has their own tactics, mm -hmm. their own style to come with, and some of those tactics you cannot play at their rate, at their tempo. So for the U.S. women's national team to have a coach who is an antagonist for the world, yeah. which I kind of like. I know against Arsenal was yep. a few weeks ago she pushed the Arsenal coach. Mm -hmm. Emma Hayes is making a name for herself of being a no, no type of uh, no nonsense, nonsense yeah. type of type of coach. <clears throat> I really enjoy. So if you're going into a tournament setting, World Cup, mm -hmm. with a team that is very good at what they do, defending in transition, have players that are very good in one v one outside on the wings, play that to your advantage. You're not going to go toe to toe and try to outpossess the team, try to be a finesse team. You've got to do what you can against teams like Spain, against the teams like Germany, England, if you will. Mm -hmm. Be that type of team that could not only make it difficult, but you can beat consistently. And if you're going to be the antagonist, be the antagonist. Just win. Yeah. I think one of the things about Vladko Anonovsky's time in charge of the women's national team is he always tried to play mm. at a time when clearly winds were shifting there were there were teams out there who were better at playing soccer yeah. maybe not better athletes maybe not a deeper pool but were better at playing soccer than the U.S. and sometimes you felt like with Andonofsky in charge they were still trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe playing I like this from Emma Hayes because it's also there's a humility to it like Chelsea's a big club they have a yes. lot of resources some people would say well a big club like that shouldn't be resorting to these tactics this is a we have to win no matter what at all costs and unfortunately the United States no longer has the advantage over everybody to not approach things like that there's no more cheap wins for the U.S. against elite competition they need to win however they can against the other best teams in the world forgive me for a second to taking this to the men's side but mm -hmm. we saw this last week in the UEFA Champions League with a team like Real Madrid mm -hmm. who's humble enough has the humility to say mm -hmm. we can't play this way against a Manchester City let us play the way we need to do to win this game. I think Emma Hayes is doing the same thing the club. I hope she translates that to the women, U.S. women's national team because the one thing you cannot afford if you're the U.S. women's national team and their coach is not to be a winning team, mm. is not to lose that mentality. If they've ever had something, their dominance mm -hmm. is one thing, the staple, but it's the winning mentality that the Americans have always carried. There's a word, grit. I think at some point the U.S. women's national team had it in spades, now you might question it. I don't think we're gonna question it very much with Emma Hayes uh, in charge.